There's a place called a gin mill way down in the slums. There's a place called a gin mill way down in the slums. My baby goes that night and stays till the morning comes. Hey, how we doing, everybody? Hola. Hey, how's it going? Good. Good. Who's, Man, we are. Whose um, voice was that? Huh? Who is that? Who what? is that? It's like a blast from the past. It is a blast from the past. <laughs> <laughs> it's like when Dick Clark came back to the New Year's Eve show after he had the stroke. It's like, who is that guy? Exactly. Is that too soon? Ironically, my balls just dropped, too. So, <laughs> wow. kind of, so Damn, there's I that. I believe it. There's that. Fell I don't out, think that They was fell out of your wife's purse. I'm exactly. Okay. She, <laughs> she gave him back for the night so I could uh, come out and hang out with the boys one time. Nice. 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 Ladies and gentlemen, it's Hunter. Hey. Welcome back, Hunter. <laughs> Where are we, Hunter? We are at uh, the world-famous Pramonti Brothers in uh, Noblesville, Indiana. Very nice. Yeah. I'm. I, you know what? I'm kind of surprised they, they let us come in here and set up uh, how we have. We've got a rather large table, the banner hanging up. I mean, we look professional. We're all facing the crowd. Yeah, everybody's staring at us, and it's Hunter and Jordan and Tex-Mex and uh, our security guard Griswold, and then uh, who are our special guests there, Tex-Mex? Who do we got with us? We have Brian from hey guys. the world-famous yes. FDR. And we have Mitch. Yep. Hola, Mitch. How's it going, brother? I'm doing well. What is your role at FDR? Uh, I make all the beer. Brian oh. said you also do the toilets when you make a Bad Batch. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I do. And you haven't had to do them once, so there you go. Yeah, that's, there it is. Let's keep that fucking role going. <laughs> that's motivation. I like it. Absolutely. <laughs> so Mitch is like our uh, our hero of heroes, then, if he's the uh, brewmaster of brewmasters at FDR. He's, he's the man. He's the reason we keep going back to FDR, not just as pigs, but... On a social level as well. So I got to say, Brian made a comment earlier about how well the coffee blonde is selling at uh, Ali's Ale House, and then realized again that that was our home away from home. So that might have a little bit to do with it. Just a bit. <laughs> just a bit. <laughs> we really like the, the same people are still <laughs> drinking it, just at a different place. Yeah, <laughs> that's right. I, mean, I think we push not? FDR everywhere we go. True just story. Because Absolutely. I mean, yeah. you know, that's you gotta, awesome. you gotta. <laughs> boast what you like. So yeah, we appreciate you guys getting on that bandwagon for sure. Yeah, it helps <laughs> us. As as we record, I see <coughs> food. Four servers about to bring us a shitload of fucking food. A yep. lot of food. Whoa. Yep. Oh my God. We're drinking a lot. Uh, we're drinking FDR beer right now, and this uh, tell us about what we're drinking, Brian, while we're waiting for all this food to arrive over here. Yeah, sure. So uh, this is Air Aid. Uh, it is an English pale ale. I don't know, Mitch. Do you want to tell them the news? Uh, what happened over this past weekend? This past weekend, we won a gold medal with this at uh, the Beer Beer Army Beer Wars competition down in North Carolina. So nice. and it's Very put on by nice. Draft yeah. Magazine. Congrats. It's yeah, put on job. by Draft Magazine, and uh, oh, yeah, wow. we were excited about it. Congratulations. Very cool. Very cool. That is awesome. Thanks, guys. Well deserved, as always. Absolutely. I'll drink to that. Cheers. Yeah, cheers, for sure. Good so up. this is an easy drinker, right? I mean, it's uh, it's going to go really well with food. you got a nice caramel malt character to it um, with a hot balance that's, uh, you know, some marmalade, uh, orange marmalade, and then, you know, it just finishes nice and dry. It's 5.2%. Uh, you know, this is one you can just stick with all night and eat with food. Right now, this is my favorite by far. It's it's a great beer, and I don't say that very often. So you can eat it with food. That's exactly right. Did I you like say that. it's a six point two percent? Five point two. Five point two. Wow. There you go. Wow, that's it is. That is an all day and all night drinker. Yeah, for sure. Excellent, excellent, excellent. So I'm gonna actually pause for a second because they were looking at us. I think they want to put the food over here and let us sample that. We're back, and before we talk about the uh, amazing amount of food oh, we just had, oh man, back to the air raid for a second. So, yep. Five point two percent. So this is a, as far as what Four Day Ray brews, this is definitely on the low scale of ABV, right? Yeah, I mean it's it's definitely in our wheelhouse for sure. I mean the blonde's four point eight, uh, the Scottish Ale is four. This is five point two, and then the IPA goes up to six point eight. So I would say this is middle range. I mean most okay. of our stuff hovers, you know, anywhere between six and four point five, the majority of the time. Nice. Yeah. But definitely, I, I, I love it. To me, this wouldn't be a, an introductory beer to craft, but it's one of those beers that I think a true craft beer lover and a novice as well could actually enjoy at the same time. I agree. Yeah, 110%. <clears throat> Excuse me. It's uh, 
it's one of those beers that the the true craft beer person really appreciates and understands. It's like Brian said, it's it's something that you can go back to all day and you can drink all day and not fill up. And it's, it's definitely a finesse beer too, just to toot Mitch's horn, he's not gonna do that, but um you know, you, you really have to know what you're doing when you brew a beer like this, uh, just because it is lower uh, in ABV, and then it's also, you know, the IBUs are not, you know, particularly high. So if there's any mistakes or, you know, if there's off flavors, you're going to taste it in a beer like this. And, you know, it's really clean, and, you know, obviously with the gold medal uh, this past weekend, you know, that's a testament to the quality of stuff that Mitch is brewing for us. So how did you find this one? The, the the beer arm. So tell me a little bit about them and what they do and, and how that came about submitting something because you said North Carolina on that one? Or yeah, something? that, that okay. one's North Carolina. Okay. I, think, I think I got an email. <laughs> 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 Easy enough. <laughs> but I mean, I'd, I'd heard of Beer Army before on one of my college kegerators. I have, I have a sticker of theirs. Okay. So they've been around a while. I got an email, talked to Brian about it seeing if you wanted to send anything and what you know you go through the processes of like what what are you going to send and all that kind of stuff and and then you dig down deep all right <clears throat> what category do you think this is going to actually fit in mm-hmm. and where it might actually do well and it did well it did all right <laughs> yeah I, i'd say so yeah let's dive into uh what we just experienced here at permani brothers for a minute they wow <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> if we're a little slow, it's a, it's called a food coma of some sort because mm-hmm. I'm sweating. Oh yeah, me too. I yep. it was a lot. Yeah, that was uh so we got a couple different types of wings. We it, we have the person right here that can tell yeah. us exactly what we had. So tell us about what you brought out. Okay, so I brought the large smallman fry, which is sixty ounces of French fries, has chili, <laughs> cheese, sour cream, jalapeno. And bacon on it. The hog wild pizza, it's got pepperoni, sausage, bacon, and hot sausage. And then, let's see, I brought a pastrami sandwich, that's what we're known for. So it's got your pastrami, provolone cheese, french fries, coleslaw, tomato, all on one sandwich. The Reuben is pretty much the same thing, except it's with a rye bread, and it does not have tomatoes, and it's pastrami and corned beef. And then I gave you I think a large wing, half spicy, no wait, half buffalo, half sweet heat, all of it. Oh, the onion rings were phenomenal oh, though. And the yes. onion rings. Mm. Yeah. And those are hand breaded and done every day. They take like a few hours to do sometime. But yeah, we actually get it from the whole onion, peel it, bread it, all that stuff. Pretty good stuff. That was yeah. amazing. Well, good. I'm glad you liked it. If you want any more, just let me know. We have burgers. I'm going to try one of those. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, there's more? What? Oh my gosh. Oh, shit. We're going to have to take a nap first and then maybe. Yeah. Um, well, we have a brownie and well, we have a brownie and then we've got some milkshakes that are pretty good. We have spiked milkshakes as well. Oh. Oh. I could even make a milkshake with your beer probably. Might be pretty good. Challenge I made accepted. A blue moon milkshake was pretty good. Make oh. that pretty good too. Yeah, that could be the the malted part of the milkshake. Mm. All right. Mm-hmm. I think we may have to we have to try that, but I think you're gonna have to use the the FD, Can you use the FDR beer instead of Blue Moon? Yeah. I think we yeah. should try that. Yeah. I'll try it. All right, let's try that. All right, we'll try that. Cool. All right, sounds Thank good. Thanks. Thanks. That was Logan. She's the manager here. And yes, that's literally what they just brought out for us. It was a shit ton of food. Is it me, or are we just using any fucking excuse to drink? We're like, fuck it, put it in a shake. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we don't care. Let's see how that goes. Do we need an excuse? Well, obviously not, but yeah. I think that's just, you know, it, it validates our, our reason to, to continue drinking. Mm. You know? hey, Brian, have you ever had your beer in a uh, shake yet? That will be a first. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> I don't know of anyone doing that. I have not even tried that, so this will be good. My my uh, my first thought here is I'm a little skeptical. Right. Got to be honest, a little yeah. skeptical. All right, a beer shake. We'll see. I mean, it's at, got at, beer in it, so you can't go that wrong. You felt the same way about the sex change, man. So I mean, you know, I know it worked out okay. I know. <laughs> wow, <laughs> we're not gonna leave that alone. <laughs> we'll we'll start over here with Hunter. Hunter, what was what was your favorite out of the food we had? What was your favorite one? I'll tell you what. I was pretty surprised with the pizza. The pizza was delicious. Really good, really good cheese flavor. The the pepperoni, the capicola, the spicy sausage, all of it popped. You could tell what you were biting into. You could tell the difference in the flavors, and it was really, really good. I was I've heard that their pizza was really good, but I was actually really impressed with it. Let's just keep going around, Mitch. What what was your favorite part? I gotta say, it was the Reuben. It was fantastic. 
the rye the rye bread the cheese it was uh it was it was great brian yeah i'm going with the reuben as well it was extremely tasty and uh the the buffalo traditional wings those were good too mm-hmm. yeah. nice griswold what'd you like the toss-up between the pizza and the onion rings i'm a big i'm a big onion fan anyways and i like the thickness of how how thick they make them onion rings you had me a thick <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm, uh, I was waiting for somebody to say something bad, but I'm going to go with the onion rings as well, but not because of their thickness, but because of their flavor. Um, <laughs> See, you're not getting picked on this week. I know. It's, it's you, apparently. Uh, but really, the pizza was also good. I did like the pizza and the wings. The wings were good. Uh, they were actually crispy on the outside. They're still you know, nice and juicy on the inside, which is I'm a big wing connoisseur. So the only thing I can say is I, they probably make one spice here that would have been more to my liking, but at least they, they did have good flavor. Right. And Tex-Mex, what do you think, man? I, I tried the pizza. I tried the onion ring, and I tried the fries. I dug the fries. The fries, just like the fries alone without anything else, they had a really good flavor. They weren't overcooked. They weren't undercooked. I mean, it's real easy to screw up a French fry, especially when you do it at, like in a 60-ounce portion. It actually came out, you know, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry, man. Like, that, that number scared me. I'm like, really? Was that much? I'm like, but, you know, the fries were good. The jalapenos were awesome. I mean, being... Tex Max, the jalapenos were good. You know, they're probably from a can, but it's okay. It's good. Um, but no, they were really good. The pizza was, I like the pizza sauce, and, and it was a really good mix. A little bit too thin for my liking. I like a little bit thicker crust, but it's, I think uh, that pizza will go a long way because right. you won't be filling as fast. So. Just wanted to point out those are like those fresh hand cut fries, too, not like your, yes. your fryer fries, you know? Those, mm-hmm. are, those were definitely really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Yep. And 60 ounces, that's what, almost four pounds? It's a lot. And there's like, what, 10 ounces left over there, maybe? <laughs> we yeah. did kind of destroy that. Between everything else? So we're going to ask to ask Logan when she comes back. We're sitting here looking at a sign that describes all their sandwiches. I mean, a giant, giant sign. And uh, I see their number two bestseller up there, but I don't see their number one anywhere unless I'm just missing it. Well, that's what we had. The number one, she did state that it was the pastrami. The pastrami. That, that, that was, that's their number one. <clears throat> but it's up there, and it's not listed as number one. No, it's not. So, and you can add an egg, and uh, I think it was Brian that said off the air that how the oh. hell would you add an egg to that sandwich? Yeah, good lord. <laughs> <laughs> Bring my turkey pants to finish that off. <laughs> you can get well, you can get onions, add an egg, and get extra cheese, Brian. That'll make it just. Yep, yep. I'll be bloated until next Tuesday. Yeah, I don't. I'm not sure I could finish an entire sandwich on my own with a side of fries. Nope. It's a lot of food, I, man. I don't think I could. Yeah, they're they're not skimpy on the portions. I'll say that. I'm not sure what the prices are on those, but uh, I think they're it's pretty reasonable. I don't think it's. Uh, I'm we'll guessing. find a we'll find a menu here in a minute, but oh yeah, absolutely. So it looks like they have about what 24 taps here. Is that about right? Did anybody count them? Eyeballing it. That looks about right. Pretty close. Yeah. And how many of those are local, Brian? Do you know the answer? Uh, was there like five? I think it's four or five. Yeah, it's 24 taps. You're right. Yeah, yeah, four or five are local. Four or five are local. Yep. Okay. So FDR currently has one of those claimed, and hopefully down the road we'll get some more of those claimed for them as well. So they have Sun King, which, you know, is Sun King. I think everywhere has Sun King on tap. And then they have, I can't see what other local ones they have. They have Daredevil. Daredevil, okay. Yeah. Um, they well, have uh, Three Floyds. Three Floyds. Gumball, and right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Gumball, Gumball Head, yep. And then Quaffon. Quaffon. Which Quaffon? Uh, busted knuckle. Busted knuckle. Yeah. yeah figures. Probably, yeah. Probably the porter. Yep. I like a uh, common necessity by Quaffon better than busted knuckle, but yeah, much better. What style is that? It's a hazelnut porter. Hazel. Is it oh. a porter it's or a stout? Porter stout. I, I think it's remember. a stout, isn't it? No, I think it's a porter. Hazelnut. As everybody reaches for their phone, everybody grabs their phone <laughs> to see what the uh, see who's faster, Grizz, Jordan, or Mitch. Go. <laughs> it's a race. Boom, boom, no boom, one has boom, service boom. here. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> I do. Common necessity, hazelnut coffee milk stout. Stout. Ooh. That's one for Hunter. Coffee milk stout. It's really good. Allie's has it on, uh, on Hazelnut draft. coffee yeah. milk stout. Yeah, yes. Right. Wow. It's got a lot going on there. It does, definitely. It's tasty, though. It it's pretty good. good. I'll sounds tell you that it, it's not as heavy as it sounds, actually. No, oh, man, that's good. you get mostly the hazelnut through mm-hmm. it. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, I don't think the milk is real prevalent, so I don't think you get a just lot of that lactose. Just in the mouth feel, just in the yeah, just <laughs> right. your feel like to it. The milk like is the in the background. The yeah, the milk <laughs> is in the background. The milk is in the background. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's in the mouth feel, but not <laughs> not not in the belly. Right. <laughs> <laughs> lactose friendly beer, lactose wow. intolerant friendly beer. 
So welcome, welcome back, Hunter. Thank you. Thank so you I, d- I don't even know what else I can say about this place. So it's uh, to me, it's it's almost like an old school diner meets a sports bar. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know how else to explain it. It's They've pretty cozy, I would say. Like, you know, walking in here, I'd, I'd feel pretty comfortable. Yeah. We're looking at about, what, 20 to 30 flat screens on the wall and throughout the place. A lot of sports memorabilia, a lot of uh, just kind of Americana, Coca-Cola, a lot yep. of stuff. It's it's really cool laid back feel. It, and it's got like the steel bar top, but then it's got like the wood chairs. So it kind of, it doesn't have an industrial feel. I think that's what gives it more of a diner feel, mm-hmm. yep. like a 50s diner feel to it. Yeah. It's a nice countertop. It is. Now, I know they, they originated out of uh, Pennsylvania. Pittsburgh, yes. Yep. Pittsburgh, yep. Yep. And it's a, I mean, actually, their bar is pretty damn big. Yeah. It's a U-shaped bar, and it is. it seats a lot of people. It, it's half the restaurant, pretty much. Like, yeah, yeah. I, like I, I it do really like is. U-shaped <laughs> bars, you know? Because there's nothing like just looking at a wall when you're on, you know, a regular bar that just, you know, faces the mm-hmm. bottles and stuff like that, where, you know, you got the U-shaped bar. You can see people across there. and Yeah, it's more social. It's good for people watching. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. It's good for the perverts who can find someone they want to sit across from. Yeah. And and just stare. Yes. And stare at them all night. <laughs> <laughs> Napkin, sir, you're drooling. Oh, sorry, sorry. So I count 46 bar seats is what I count. <laughs> you counted. Really? I did count them, yeah. <laughs> but 46 people at a bar, that's a big bar. It is yeah, a big I mean, money. I'm trying to put it in perspective to say this is a, a very, very good-sized bar. And then they got dual taps on both sides. So, I mean, if they get busy, they can serve quick. Well, as long as they have people here, I guess. It doesn't matter how many taps you have. You don't have anybody working, but... They got two bartenders tonight, so I would guess on a busy night they're probably pretty well staffed back there. So we're gonna have to get Logan over here to answer some of our questions that we have, though. Yeah, yep. she's currently feels like we're doing play by play right now. She's uh, she's know. making that milkshake over there. <laughs> she's making us a beer milkshake. A beer milkshake with air raid. I like it. We also won a bronze medal for Laplander Blonde too, guys. Oh, ah, yeah. nice. okay. Oh, yeah. yep. I forgot to well, mention. Very that. nice. Yep. Was that at the same uh, competition? Same competition. Yes. Yeah, it was the blonde, not the coffee blonde. It was yeah. Oh, just the regular yeah, blonde, just regular lap, which is also yeah. excellent. But the coffee blonde, if they would have given you a bronze, I would have had to hurt them. Right. Yeah, we're gonna. So the World Beer Cup is coming up, and we're gonna enter the coffee blonde in the World Beer Cup. Oh, nice. Yeah. You're sure. taking that one home for sure. We take pictures of everything before we do anything with it. Hey, Logan, can I buy that couple right there at the bar a uh, a beer? Oh yeah, absolutely. An, yeah, an air raid. That'd be <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Thank you. you got it. Nice. <laughs> I would hope you wouldn't buy him a Budweiser, sir. <laughs> no, 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 no. Hey, Can I buy them a Budweiser, please? Get that couple of gumball then. On me. <laughs> on me. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I will, I will not say a word until everybody's had a chance to try. All right. Uh-oh. Here, get, your, get your mug in here. So tell us about this milkshake while they're, everybody's sampling here. You got the okay, so the oh, milkshake yeah, is You got to talk much in there. You can't, you oh, don't, you can't be shy. All right, so the milkshake is just some orange vodka, your beer, um, and then we have a custard, and that's basically just all of that topped with whipped cream and um, <laughs> half an orange in there. <laughs> that's really good. Oh, I w- you know, sometimes it would be better if we were on TV when you see our faces yeah. when we try something. Oh. So, Holy uh, shit. Mitch is lactose intolerant, so he doesn't want to have a trip to the bathroom, so he's going to pass. All right. But he'll, you know, I'll vouch for him. He'll vouch for him. Okay, yeah. cool. We're, we're just waiting on Tex Mex to give it a shot here. <laughs> 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 So if we wanted to come in here and order this beverage, how would we order that? Um, oh probably we would just like have to ask shake? for me. No, we'd have to. Yeah, okay. For sure. But I can teach the bartenders how to do it. Um, I used to use Blue Moon for that, hence the orange. So you'd use like the Blue Moon, the orange vodka, and it just kind of makes mm-hmm. it surprisingly worked very well with your beer. Yeah, Actually, well, the, the malt in this is going to oh give it kind God. of like that malty, you know, if you're having a malt instead of a shake. Yeah. And then um, the hop profile in this is like orange marmalade characteristics, so the orange goes great. I mean, that was a great pairing. Yeah, yeah. You, you nailed it. That was awesome. I made everybody try it, so they all liked it. They approved, so I brought it over to you. Nice. So, so you said <laughs> it's got air raid, obviously. Then what kind of vodka did you put in it? It's, it's just a three olives orange vodka. Okay, so orange flavored vodka. Mm-hmm. All right, makes sense. Wow. Hmm. The question is, going forward, next time someone asks for a, a beer shake, is this a default? Yeah, for sure. Yes. Okay. We're going to have to think of a name now. <laughs> Ooh, there you go. Brian, you need a name for the shake that has your beer in it. Yeah, okay. So uh, let me have a few more beverages, <laughs> and then we can probably come up with a pretty good one. <laughs> so here's some more questions we have. Number two bestseller is on the board. What's the number, number one bestseller? Okay, so that's Iron City Beer. 
but you can only get that in Pennsylvania. You cannot get that in Indiana, unfortunately, so we can't sell that here. But the number one seller in general is beer, right? Oh, right. gotcha. Okay. So that's why the oh makes sense. Yeah. Ah. But it's Iron City, so I've had that beer. It's mm. good. It is pretty good. Yep. I was actually, you know, Friends talking about the sandwich board, board, right? Ah. What about the sandwich board? This is. I wasn't talking about beer, although I'm glad we have that information now too, because that was awesome oh, yeah. information. But up here on the board, the number two bestseller says the Pittsburgher, but it doesn't say what the number one is. It's beer. Oh, That's gotcha. Beer. I know. It throws everyone off because it's a sandwich, but yeah, the number one seller is beer. Logan, I, Logan I followed you. Yeah. I, I got what you were saying, too. You did. Yeah. It no, took me a I minute. Did. I think I think Hunter got it before I did, and then I was like, oh, oh. right. Yeah. Yeah, I got it. Yep. yep. Makes sense. Okay. Yeah, it does make sense now. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> now, she had to explain it twice to you, yeah. but I mean, it's fine. Right. It's right. fine. But we did all say it's got to be something to do with some kind of marketing plan so it that is. they ask they yeah. what the number one seller is. Yeah, and it's it's hard because we can't sell that beer here, so we can't just throw it on the table and be like, "Here's number one." It's just yeah, gotcha. number one is I see, but it's in Pennsylvania. Nice. We do have Yingling. <laughs> Yingling, what you and just got? We, and we do have. Well, but that was awesome. And we do. Have <laughs> Are you sure <laughs> that Iron Day. City is not distributed here? I'm positive. Man, I was thinking that I'm I had an Iron City beer it. over at the Nickel Play Bar and Grill, which is a Pittsburgh Steelers bar. If you didn't buy it, they're allowed to give it away. Oh. Yeah. See, that makes sense now. You're right. So that sounds like a great okay. idea. So you guys just get that beer here and just give it away. No, wait. That right. doesn't yeah. work. I have way, friends from Pittsburgh, and we drink Iron City beer yeah. when, when the Steelers are playing. So yeah. it's good. So tell us a little bit about your uh, about your about everything going on here. Let's put it that way. What you guys have happening? You guys have uh, any events here? Do you do anything special, different nights? Um. Well, so our best nights. I would say our Wednesdays and Fridays, that's actually our half price drinks, and that's the whole bar. So that's. That includes any hard Indiana liquor. domestics? Yep, Indiana Ooh. domestics, any hard liquor, any beer, mixed drinks, hmm. anything you want. Wow. Yeah. Wow, craft beer. So Wednesdays and Fridays, hmm. yeah. Just imagine. Wednesdays and Fridays? Wednesdays and Fridays. Hmm. Wow, did you hear that, listeners? Wednesdays and Fridays, Permanente Brothers, half, half off craft beer beer can't beat that i mean i, yeah, I don't amazing. even know what else to say there that's amazing i mean that sells itself so do you guys do any entertainment here do you do any uh trivia um, karaoke anything you know along those lines we actually were doing trivia on tuesday nights it didn't work out too well for us um so we're looking into either doing like another trivia night and then having live music once it starts to get warmer again so we can have our patio doors open and just make it a big party and then looking into some jeep days Oh, yeah. And then bike nights. Those guys are, are those guys and gals. That's a great group. The Jeep people. Oh yeah, for we've sure. had them down at uh, Fort Day Ray. They're awesome. Yeah, they are. Thank you. I got a Jeep sitting right out there. Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> 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 I'm not in any of the Jeep groups, so I should be because everybody says they're a lot of fun. But yeah. I'm not in one right now. Yeah, you could get us started here. I See, could. There you go. I should look into it for you. No, I have to tag them in. We mentioned them. Yeah. What's the Jeep group called? I don't even know what they're called. Good question. Brian? Uh, I didn't organize it, so I don't know. I just know them as the Jeep group. <laughs> but they're great. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Google the Jeep group and see what I can come up yeah. with. Yeah. It's like Wrangler or something, I think. It's good. So what nights are, are really busy in here? Is it is it kind of a weekend business? It's is a weekend it? business for sure. So Friday nights, all day Saturdays, and Sundays, especially game days, mm -hmm. we're really busy. We have lots of TVs, always have the game on, especially if Steelers are playing. Of course, Colts as well. Um any game we'll play, turn the volume on, and then make it a pretty big party in here. But definitely weekend business. Other than that, Wednesday nights, of course, because half price drinks are pretty busy as well. Awesome. So beyond the craft beer, do you guys have any signature cocktails, signature drinks, anything like that? Yes, we have a drunk duck, and it's a little bit fruitier. It's actually pictured. I know. So it's a little bit more like Griswold. It. Yeah, it's just a little bit fruity, oh, yeah. a little like out Griswold. there. <laughs> And it's served in a big goblet, so... Like Griswold. Yep. <laughs> Makes sense. <laughs> it's pretty delicious. And then we have, like, Holy Neville Paris Island on, teas, right? which is the same thing as a Long Island almost. We have a lot of pretty good drinks. I always stick to beer as well, but... So what's your, what's your top beer seller here? So we have the Legion Space Dust. That sells pretty well. Um, and then... It's pretty good beer. Yeah, it's... A it's a great beer. Of course, Yingling's selling well. We just okay. got it here. 
to Indiana a little over or less than a year ago. Mm -hmm. Bubbles, it was doing good for a little bit. We've slowed down a little bit. Bubbles. Bubbles. It's Rheingeist. It's like an apple cider. Um, okay. Oh, okay. It's kind of like a champagne type beer. Sure. If I were okay. to describe it, it did really well with the ladies. But um, and Griswold. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for. <laughs> exactly. Fuckers. <laughs> I'd say space dust for sure. Space dust. It probably does. And then we always switch with the three Floyds, um, Gumball Head, Zombie Dust, things like that. Those always do good. Sure. War Pigs as well, whenever we have that in, that's done well. Okay. Very cool. Awesome. Have you guys had salmon pants yet? Uh, we have not. I did try that, though. It's tasty. That's it good. is tasty. I don't think they had that available in the Yeah, kit. it's uh, they're they're having trouble keeping it in stock. It's, yeah. Uh, it's really good. I, uh, Mitch I and I, it's a really good pilsner. Yeah, oh, really, 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 yeah. really good. Huh. Is that War Pigs? Yes. Yes. All right, I'm gonna have to try that one. Yeah, their so beers are pretty yeah, good. Definitely give it a try. From here, I can actually. I just honed in on the Laplander blonde can sitting up there. Mm hmm Dead in the middle. You like that? Do you see that when you look at the display, Brian? Your beer is like right dead center. I know it's fantastic, and it was that way when I came in here too. So they didn't just plan it for this <laughs> evening. <laughs> we did not. <laughs> I hadn't actually looked over at the display yet, but now I, now I saw that. It's literally what I picked out first. What else you want to tell us about for Manny Brothers? Um, well, if you come here, you definitely have to try a sandwich. That's just what we're famous for. It's your choice of meat, provolone cheese, french fries, coleslaw, tomato. I know it sounds like a lot, but you have to try it all together the first time. If you don't like it, then you can always pick it off or have it done different. Um, a lot of people in Indiana like it toasted versus people in Pennsylvania just like it straight up. Um, mm. But it seems like here people like it toasted a little bit better. So definitely a sandwich, and you have to have a beer to wash it down with for sure. Our wings and pizza are great too. Mm -hmm. So do people come in here and do they, you get a lot of finicky people that want to tear the, the sandwich apart, and they're like, uh, but I don't want fries on it. I yes. like those on the side. I don't want the tomatoes. I don't want the coleslaw, uh, so I just want the meat and the cheese on a bun. Is that kind of how it, yeah, how it goes? Yeah, for sure. Wow. A lot of people get everything on the side and then just... My That's like a regular meal at some other place. I mean, why would you do that? My yeah. mother-in-law <laughs> does that. Yeah. yeah, you have to get it. You have to at least try it the right way the first time. If you don't like it, then I can't yeah. say anything, but try it right. Do all your sandwiches come with the fries on them? Um, our burgers and our like chicken sandwiches, they do not. Okay. So like the crispy chicken sandwich, it won't come with fries on it. And then our burgers won't come with the fries on it. So if I get like a salami and cheese sandwich, it's going to have the it's fries and all that stuff yes. on it? Oh. Yep, I sure will. Very cool. And then you can add an egg to any sandwich. You can add bacon oh. or onions to any sandwich you want to. Wow. Mm -hmm. Did you hear that? We can add egg nut to it now too, Brian. Egg. Yes. And bacon. And bacon. Yeah. Yep. You can the whole farm. <laughs> <laughs> How tall is that sandwich going to be by the time you add the egg and the, and the bacon and the onion on it? It's, it's gonna huge. Be, it's it's yeah. large. You yeah. have to pretty much press it down to be able to even put it in your mouth. It's a big one. <laughs> 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 Sorry, I had to laugh there. So oh, wow. did you, did you <laughs> arrive from Pennsylvania to open the store? Where are you from? Um, I am from Indiana. I did have to go to Pennsylvania for training. Oh, though. nice. So I was gone for two months, and then I got oh, to wow. Wow. open a lot of restaurants. So Ohio, Beaver Creek, and then Novi, Michigan, and Taylor, Michigan, and then downtown Indy, and then I'm back here. Nice. So, so is this going to be your home store then? Yes. Oh, nice. I'm here for cool. good. I've been here since last Halloween. Oh, cool. Not the very past one. Before. When did you guys open? Uh, we opened in... Was it 16? May of 2016. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they opened just before we did. Because nice. your grand opening day was October 19th. Yes, it was. Yep. Wow. I'm a fan. Still trap right there. I'm a huh? fan. Yeah. So cool. I appreciate that. Thanks. Could be my wedding anniversary as well. Oh, but sure. We'll go with, we'll, we'll just we'll go go with you. Just like like exactly. Yeah. Minor details. <laughs> Minor details. <yeah. laughs> you should just let that go, man. <laughs> I know. You were that big of a fan. That's hilarious. No, there's Get an honest side to me. <laughs> so the the raging Cajun is that good and hot, spicy? So that one has been removed from the menu. However, oh, we can. I was actually eyeing that too. We can still make that. So basically, okay. it's just the chicken breast with Cajun seasoning on it, and then same way done with the French fries, coleslaw, tomato. Right. So that one sells pretty good. It's delicious. That actually does not come with the provolone cheese, but you can ask, nice. and we can still make it always. I do you like put cheese. an egg on it. And you yeah. can put an egg. And yeah. bacon. Absolutely, egg. Yep. Bacon, egg. extra cheese. Mm-hmm. Mm. 
What's the uh, what's fry. the hottest wing sauce you guys put on your wings? We have an XX hot. Uh huh. Um, and that's actually Permani Brother XX Hot, so we make that sauce. It's pretty hot. I like really hot food. It's not that that spicy to me. It's manageable, so I think pretty much anybody can come here and try it. But then okay. some people think that the buffalo sauce. You know, not hot, to bring so. up competition or anything, but when you were out in Pennsylvania, did you go to Quaker Steak and Lube? I did not. Okay, you should have their hot because they have to actually use rubber gloves and uh, oh, wow. and a mask when they uh, when, when they make it. Yeah, I watched that episode of uh, Man vs. Food when he did that challenge. That's insane. My my buddy, he had one and he ate it. It's just you can see the transformation in someone's body <laughs> with the <laughs> physical pain that starts to just erupt all over their face. You know, the sweating, their lips started burning. I mean, he it. He was so uncomfortable. Uh, see, and nice. I love, I love oh. really hot food like that. I eat the scorpion sauce at oh Allie's all the time. But you won't do the scorpion burger. No, I don't want to do the scorpion burger. After I saw what it did to your intestines, I chose to be more you wise. Saw what it did to my heard, intestines. Heard what it did to your intestines. Wait, what? What? <laughs> You're the one that said, "Dude, I hate you guys." I was up all night and then got more descriptive with it. Did no, he send I said you I had heartburn really bad. Yeah. Didn't oh, tell you. Okay. Did he send you a picture of his poop? That's what I want to know. <laughs> no, he That's did not. <laughs> and I'm, I'm still disappointed. Who doesn't love this a day. good poop picture at two in the morning? That's fantastic. <laughs> not true. That did not happen, Logan. Okay. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> that you know of. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we are boys. You know yes, that it's going to be a poop true story. Right? Yeah, yeah, we can't go through one night without one. No, nope. so. certainly good. not. And we're a 21 and over beer show, so you can <laughs> yep. only imagine some there of the stuff that. Hers. <laughs> so what else can we talk about here for Permani Brothers? What else do you guys have going on? We've talked about the sandwiches. We've talked about the fries. We've talked about the pizza, the wings, the shake. The shake was phenomenal. Oh, my God. The shake yeah, is awesome. Was, the shake is pretty good. Um, basically, it's pretty much all about our culture. Um, it's focused on our players and then, like, trinkled down to the fans as well. So we feel as if it, we give the players, which would be your team members, a good place to work. If they're happy, then we know that they're going to give the guests a great experience and okay. therefore they'll be happy and just making sure that they're taken care of and that they care um, is the most important. Make sure they're explaining the culture. Um, we started in 1933, like right alongside with the Steelers. So we want to make sure they talk about that. Um, since we're so far away, well, we're not so far away from Pennsylvania, but we are, um, that they're saying that we are a, Pen- a Pittsburgh um, restaurant and that we talk about the Steelers. Um, just making it a fun environment for everybody here. It's pretty much what we like to do. That's um, cool. It all starts with the players, so making sure they have a good time. They look like they're having fun tonight. For yeah. sure. A blast. <laughs> <laughs> We're not that busy. Supposedly oh, I've come it's in here eating outside, so. Gotcha. I've come in here after, uh, after work sometimes to get either late night food or have a beer. And uh, I got to say, any of the bartenders I've encountered, they're very interactive. They talk. Mm-hmm. They like to stand there and chat with you. And usually that time of night is not very busy in here. So, you know, I just sit there and talk to them about beer and whatnot. And it's, it's definitely, it is a good time. I like a bartender that likes to interact and knows their product, too. If I ask them a question, they always know what's going on. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So I think you guys take a lot of time to train them to understand exactly what they're serving and stuff. Yeah, they have to know. We have to have a pre-shift every morning and every afternoon to make sure they know what our specials are, what our deals are, and then um, if we have any new beers, they're trying them. So they know what they taste like, and they can explain that. Oh, my God, you make them drink the new beers? That's that's terrible. It is terrible. Yeah, that's all. So bad. <laughs> Unless they're underage, of course, then they don't get to try it. That's but good. I, mean, I think it's good to, for yeah. them to be able to speak to the beers, though. Yeah, mm-hmm. for sure. Because sure. if you get a lot of people that come in here for craft beer and they're looking for something specific and you can't talk to it, they're probably not going to stay. Yeah. What's your craft beers? Oh, we have Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, 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 yeah, that we have to make sure they're not doing those things. Right. Yep. Or Blue Moon. A lot of people say Blue Moon, and I'm like, oh, yeah. I cringe. I'm like, no, not craft. <laughs> Commercial. Just because it has orange doesn't make it a craft. Jordan's so. a craft beer snob. Yeah. I'm a, I'm I see a, that. I am. I, yeah, pretty much. What's your favorite craft beer? I have a lot of favorite craft beers. So Uh-oh. on the spot. Here we go. Number one, <laughs> gun to tough. your head. What's your favorite? So everybody knows that Coffee Blonde from Fort A. Ray is definitely my go-to most of the time, followed by Bigsby. And then, let's see, after Bigsby would probably be 
from oh the Dorian style? Dorian. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. You like the Dorian coffee though. Dorian coffee. Or well, I like I like all the Dorians except coconut because I don't drink co- drink or eat coconut. Hmm. So is that like a mouthfeel texture thing or no, <laughs> not really. I just don't like coconut. <laughs> oh, okay. But I think if you could actually uh, feel the crunch of the coconut in your beer, that'd be bad. That might be bad. Might <laughs> be a little something. I don't. I don't know. It reminds me of suntan lotion. I can't. I can't. Yeah, do it. I get that. Yep. Just can't do it. So. Yeah, I can't do coconut either. So, what's your favorite local craft beer? I'm gonna have to go with. <laughs> I'm gonna Uh-oh. have to go with Three Floyds. I really like Gumball Head. I okay. really like. That's good beer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know why. I've tried a lot. Trust me, I really have. I love beer, unfortunately, but I'm always gaining weight from drinking beer. So. <laughs> really. <laughs> If you stop making these beer shakes, <laughs> right, right, the extra calories might be killing that you. Might there, right? That might be it for right. sure. <laughs> I say you don't stop making them. Yeah, I would agree. Me either. Yeah, don't stop making them. Yeah, yeah. see, it was pretty everybody, tasty. they're no one wants to try it at first, and I'm like, I force people to try, it and they're like, this is great. We're coming back. Yep, exactly. It's got the three major food groups. It's got beer, liquor, and dairy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's all you need. What else do you need? <laughs> and fruit. And yeah, fruit, fruit, yes. There you go, four. Exactly. So that's healthy. You throw that orange slice on there, it's definitely healthy. Mm-hmm. No, <laughs> no scurvy. So what else does Four Day Ray have going on? Arr. We'll switch over there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see. We have a black IPA on right now that's pretty tasty. Diamond Cracker. Mm. Now, how'd you call okay, the name wait, Diamond uh, Cracker? Back yeah. up. Hold on. Black IPA Diamond Cracker. Yeah, so the mm. what, a slang term for coal is uh, what well, coal turns into diamonds. Okay. So uh, the fireman on a steam engine uh, is responsible for shoveling the coal into the firebox. Okay. So you have, that's what the black diamonds are, what coal is called. So you have diamond cracker is what the slang term for a firebox guy, the the fireman is. So that was, Makes sense. That was a really long-winded answer, but there you no, go. No, but it was the right answer. Okay, thanks. That's Yeah, it's a railroad term, so it's, uh, yeah. Huh. Kind of goes along with the whole four-day ray theme. It does. Exactly. Makes right. sense. Mm-hmm. I like it. No, that's a great explanation. That's a great... I like it. Cool. Come in. I'll have to come in and try it. Uh, what else we got going on, Mitch? Uh, well, oh, today, yeah. okay. today I just brewed uh, our Irish Red. So Kingston. Ooh, nice. So Hobo, the Hobo series, our IPA series. Yes, I saw that was coming. Yep. So our fourth one is coming out. Um, it's It's different, to say the least. Um, it is a ginger mustard IPA. It you have to make sure you say the seed part, though. You can't say just mustard. All right. I just was just going to say, who doesn't love a ginger? seed. Ginger yeah. mustard seed IPA. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, we're worried about people freaking out about brewed, the mustard, right? Yeah. That is yeah, very I, true. I, w- I was out, actually, at that point. So um, I'll try it. We just drank a beer milkshake. There's not a whole <laughs> lot that's you know tonight. That's, that's probably a good point. So, Fair enough. Um, it is made with Wakatu hops, Calypso, Cashmere, and Equinox. So it has a lemon-lime characteristic to it. Lime goes really well with citrus in general. goes really well with ginger and mustard seed. It, uh, it actually turned out surprisingly well, I would say. Yeah, I think it's really good. Brian loves it. Nice. Really great with pork. Yeah. So Tex-Mex, man, you got to come in and have a pork belly taco and some Hobo 4, man. It it I'm really down. it really I'm, cuts through. I'm gonna leave right now and go fat. check it out. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the uh, the wakatu. Oh boy, I have, that's I one I haven't heard of. So either. it's a guava. Yeah, that's a new it's one. a guava, and it's gonna have some citrus notes to it, and then uh, it has the guava. I can't. I don't know. Past that, I'm not really sure. Gotcha. He, that was he, a new one he, for he, me. He, he, yeah, it's a it's a fairly. It's so fairly it's new hop. Yeah, it's right. New Zealand, right? Citrus. Citrus. <laughs> <laughs> when in doubt, I say <laughs> I say we leave the long pause in there because coming back with citrus yeah, is right, amazing. Exactly. Uh, it says uh, lime zest. So when I when I went through the whole process, right, <clears throat> I was searching through. Oh man, I don't know how many days I spent on that. It was a lot. Uh, I wondered if he was ever going to brew it. So I've had this idea for a long, long time. On uh, so uh, basically, my thought process is if it can if if it's made into a sauce, it can be made into a beer, right? So if it if those flavor profiles go really well together, you basically just have to figure out your base, what your base is going to be, and then you could probably throw those flavor profiles together um, in a beer. 
Uh, you don't obviously you don't want it to taste like you know tikka masala sauce, right? But but uh, some of those general flavors uh, work really well together. What is that, by the way? I, I, you never had tikka masala chicken? No. Say it again. Anybody else? Tikka masala? <laughs> What'd you say? <laughs> Dick in your Close what? <laughs> I know. what? Say it one more time. Uh, tikka masala. Tikka. Oh, tikka. Yeah, yeah. I really. That's what you. My, my my bad. No 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 no. My bad. <laughs> I've never I mean, had. I got you. I got you worked I've up. I've never had. I do. Tikka I do. masala. Neither have I. Oh. Oh man. I so guess you, I'm missing out. You have it over rice. It's fantastic. Mm, cool. I believe it's Indian. Uh, hmm. Okay. You wouldn't want it just straight up as a beer. You wouldn't want to drink that. You could take some of those flavor profiles from it, and you could probably make a good beer. It has uh, <laughs> it has coconut in it. Oh, oh. oh. Jordan's out. You're out. Wow. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I believe it has. Oh man, again. If you come back with four, <laughs> we're done. Citrus. <laughs> citrus. 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 <laughs> citrus. Right. Uh, I guess I'm done anyways. <laughs> it's a spiced tomato sauce. Oh. Garlic, ginger. Yeah, that uh, tomato's not in a beer. I mean, I do like well, some... You take uh, the tomatoes out. What's the... Uh, a red oh, eye? Man. Yeah. I don't know. Michelada? Oh, Michelada. Yeah, yeah. dude. Does. I like Michelada. So I can't say that I don't like tomato in my beer because I do. Cause does it's good. does it's garlic? Really, it's really good. Does oh, yeah. garlic ever work in a beer, though? Garlic? Garlic? Ooh. That's, pretty strong. that's a really strong taste. That's a, a really strong flavor. I don't know. Depends on how much you like Summit hops. Yeah, Summit, you can really get a lot of garlic and onion. Ooh, really? No good. Yeah. Like, I don't mind pepper in my beer. Like, a, a good peppery beer that with, with I mean, good flavor to it, I can, I can deal with that. But I, garlic is, is different. I've yet to have. I can't say I've ever had garlic in my beer. There's a pizza beer out there. I think it's called. Ooh. I think I've heard yeah. that. No, it yeah, it is. It's I also it. drank no. a beer once called Ashtray Beer, and it literally tasted like two day old Budweiser with a cigarette butt in it. So that's appetizing. By Evil Twin, by the way, just so you know. Hmm. That's who put it out. Yeah, that doesn't. That shock me at all. <laughs> <laughs> they had one called Cowboy. It tasted like I was. Uh, Oh boy! Drinking beer off of a leather belt. <laughs> <laughs> so drinking beer off cowboy. Yeah. So when you were naming off some of your favorite beers and everything, Brian has not had a Bigsby yet. So we need really? to make sure we. Uh, yeah, I haven't had. We that. enlighten him. It's it's actually a white stout. Is what oh, they okay. call it. Sure. So it's, it's it's not really exactly a stout necessarily, but they they brand it that way. Um, and it's got what coffee, coffee and uh, chocolate notes. Chocolate and notes. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's basically. Like it's a, really tasty. Yeah. It's awesome. Yeah, it's on top of alleys right now too. Heavy like a stout at all, but mm, it's okay. definitely got a really good, good, really good profile to it. Nice. Yep. It's yeah. It's awesome. You said that's it by Evil out. Check. Evil Check. Yep. Yeah. Yep. 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 Those guys do good work. And I love the the Bigsby behind it. The the name for that is if you remember uh, the Dave Chappelle show. Uh, what was his name? Cl- not Clifton Bigsby. Clayton. What was it? Clayton. Clayton Bigsby. Clayton Bigsby that was the black white supremacist. <laughs> oh, yes. That? Because that's he, where they yeah, got the he, name and from. He's blind, right? He's blind, yes. He doesn't know that his wife's black. That's exactly. So, awesome. <laughs> so that's that's where the name comes from. That is, isn't that awesome? <laughs> You've seen that skit, haven't you? Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. It's so funny. <laughs> so amazing. Oh, yeah. man. So, I mean, kudos to them just for the name alone. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yep. Absolutely. And the beer is good. I mean, it is. checks pretty solid. I mean, they do a, they do some pretty solid stuff. Yeah, too. they do stuff. Yep. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. So, wow. Remember that big sign we were talking about? <laughs> the one with bologna and cheese, or with jumbo <laughs> bologna and cheese at Where that. Is that. Yep. Holy cow! I thought you were joking. No, no I mean no, that. Jalum- <laughs> Jalumbo. 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 <laughs> that milkshake getting to you there, that's, buddy? Well, that's Columbo's brother. <laughs> Jalumbo shake. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that's on crack. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's got the other eye that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's not how you spell baloney. For a minute there, I looked up. I thought it said honey. It's yeah, cause yeah, because it, it doesn't. Bologna. It doesn't, it doesn't say bologna. There's no, no G in there. No G N A. Yes, that's not right. Bologna. <laughs> they are from Philly. Well, where? Yeah, Philly. Right, right, right. right sure. So, so Pittsburgh. Uh, Logan Technic. did take. <laughs> That couple, uh, uh, couple of air raids over to him. Yeah. So yeah, I think they're have, it, it looks like they're having trouble choking it down. But this is at the end of their meal. It is at the end of the meal. Yeah. Yeah. They've already had two beers apiece, uh, plus all those yeah. sandwiches. So I'm gonna chalk it up to full bellies. 
Yeah. At oh, this no, point. He's drinking. He's drinking. Oh, there he, he goes. He's yeah. liking it. He's yeah. digging it. Hold on. Hold on. She's going to ask for a to-go cup here in a second. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember when we talked a little while Lindness ago draw? about where we're sitting and just staring at people? I feel that might be going on right now. It might be. I think you're right. I think just a little bit. I think a few of them have caught on that we're cheers. actually talking about them. <laughs> Are he we just he just shot us a cheers. Yeah, 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 yeah. Thank you. Yep. Yep. Are we are we judging them or are they judging us? That's the uh, question. Both. I think it's probably both. A little bit of both. <laughs> they probably have more to judge on us than we do them. So yeah, absolutely, <laughs> they gotta, win. I gotta wonder what we look like from sitting out there. They're like, right. who are these guys just sitting up there, just yeah. staring at everybody? What are they doing? <laughs> <laughs> Don't they have real lives? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, we no. do. We look like we're at a sports desk or something right now. We're we doing totally play-by-play do, right. with yep. people at the bar. There he goes. He's cutting there. his carrot. Yes. Is yes. he going to go for it? He's going to double that that oh. carrot oh. He's slowly. Oh. And, and she just oh. served a Corona with a lime. And right? she's oh. pushing the there lime in the now. Lime. And yeah. so he cut the carrot, but oh. he's eating the lettuce. Get it, get it, get it, get what are you doing? Hold on, hold on. She squeezed it first. And now oh, she's, okay. Now, now she's pushing it in. Oh, it's in. It's in. It's in. We, we she, have lift off. If she sticks her finger in it and then don't look at it. She did. She did the upside down. That's a oh, keeper. Yeah. Yeah, well She's played. a pro. Yeah. Well she played. Is that doing. is a consummate pro mm-hmm. right there. Awesome. Yep. So Absolutely. What? Ladies and gentlemen, I mean, that's what? a goat right there. All right, guys. So uh, had a lot of fun here at Permanent Brothers. Tried a lot of food. Drank some beers. Drank a lot of air raid. Did a little people watching. Got to talk to Logan. So it was all in all, it was a great night. So do you guys have uh, anything you want to add to the uh, the closing here? Thanks for having us in, guys. I really appreciate it. Hey, as always, it's our pleasure. Absolutely. I dig it. Thank you for the air raid. I yes. want to say special thank you to Brian and Mitch for doing their round by FDR. You know, because I think the people who drank it uh, are totally digging on it. So it's great. Even the young lady who had an upset stomach thinks she's doing all right with it now. Hunter, take us out. Hey. It's been a great night. Thank you, Ronnie Brothers, for having us. Thank you, FDR, for being here. Uh, We'll see you next time. Cheers. 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 There's a place called a gin mill way down in the slums. There's a place called a gin mill way down in the slums. My baby goes that night and stays till the morning comes.